From NBC News, this is Today with Lester Holt and Jenna Wolf. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. There is something that Jen and I have in common you may not know about. Jamaica. My grandparents, my maternal grandparents, were born on the Caribbean island. And I was actually born on the island. We recently returned there together to retrace our roots and visit some old family and friends. For centuries, Jamaica has been calling. One love. From European settlers to today's American tourists, which, if you didn't know any better, you might have mistaken Jenna and me for. But hold on, this was no boondoggle. Well, actually, the catamaran cruise was sort of on the line. All right, but seriously, our real intention was to explore our Jamaican roots. The two of us share a connection to this proud island nation. Mine began here. So, you think they're going to remember you? Well, if they don't remember my face, I can guarantee you they'll remember my voice. We're at the maternity ward of Kingston's Natal Hospital, where I was born. 4.20 a.m. Sheila Greenfeld, Baby Wolfeld, Baby Wolfeld. That was me. This is so great. Does that say normal? Yes. Normal. It says normal. It's all written right there. That you were normal. That I was normal. <laughs> Contrary to what a lot of things You're a I've real been Jamaican. Told. You're a yeah. real Jamaican. Well, I have no birth claim to the island. However, my maternal grandparents were born, raised, and married in Jamaica. Six years ago, I made my first journey here with my American-born mother. So this is where your mother grew up? Yes. That's the house. On that trip, we traveled to rural Manchester on our own emotional journey of discovery. I never thought I'd see it. I didn't even know it was still here. You know, it's just like, now I'm home. <laughs> this is, this is just unbelievable. It is. I never thought I'd see this. So when my mom and I came here, we were really telling the story of her mother, my grandmother. My grandfather, however, is from where we are now, Spanish Town. And you, you still have family here in Spanish Town? We don't know. We don't know a lot about my grandfather. He was the, you know, one of 14 kids born to an Indian from uh, Calcutta, a white English woman. Um, he dropped out of school. His father died when he was very young. They were very poor. Um, but this we know is where they were from. Meanwhile, I left Jamaica when I was five, but I returned often over the years. Things looked pretty familiar as we drove to the Kingston neighborhood where my family lived to reunite with some very special people in my life. <laughs> Nyla DeAndrea, back in my toddling days, a neighbor and second mom who last saw me when I looked like this and when I had a vastly different personality. You know, yes. you're so different on TV no, because when you were here you were so shy and so no. no did we get the wrong address <laughs> yeah my sons were like crazy and? and Jenna was the sweet little always perfectly dressed and one of those sons Antonino my first unofficial boyfriend here's Antonino trying to impress me by hopping a fence here's me looking in the opposite direction you used to hold Antonino's hand. did I really yeah was it cute <laughs> very cute but he was a bigger boy you see so he had to look after you oh <laughs> we Jamaicans never forget the family so once the families no matter where they are they're still family later a stroll through the and courtyard by my old apartment brought back some sweet memories especially of one neighbor in particular who could never quite keep the music down. So you would hear the drums going and we yeah. would get out of here. Carry on this stupid man. What is he doing making all this And who noise? was it? Bob Marley. Can you believe that? Yeah, it was Bob Marley. So when this guy brags that he likes reggae, he doesn't know. I know reggae. She grew up with it right in her backyard. That's right. Bob Marley was Jenna's neighbor. Okay, I love the Bob Marley story. Now we're at the museum. Yeah. There used to be his house, which was in the shadow of where you live. Right next door, Tell yeah. me again, how did you end up being born in Jamaica? Uh, my father had a chain of leather manufacturing companies that started in Puerto Rico, and they moved it to Jamaica. They made leather buttons. And uh, me and my brother were born here, 
and this is uh, where I called home for many years. I never set foot in Jamaica until I was an adult, but when I got there, I met plenty of extended family. God, it's great to see you again. Great great to friend. See it's you been a while. Day. I would like you to meet Jenna. Jenna's my I've my seen you on TV. Scott Wilson is my second cousin, and guess what? Start your engines. He's a broadcaster, too, a voiceover announcer. And turns out Scott is also a record producer, and he invited us to sit in on a session for a new reggae CD. Reggae, Jamaican soul. Its music, easy pace, and beaches are what Jamaica is known for. Kingston, however, is a port city. No fancy resorts here, but if you stick with a local... We're actually going to a little key um, called Lime Key, and it's not much more than a sandbar, but it has a little bit of vegetation on it, and it's big enough for everybody to come on weekends. You can actually dock right on the beach. Or swim. And it was a great place for Scott and me to reflect and reconnect. Jamaica is a lot smaller, so everything is more intense, yeah? So, so um, you know, we're related, and I almost feel like I've known you forever. But, but the bonds of family in, in Jamaica are, are traditional, really. Before we left Lime Key, we insisted Scott teach us some of that wonderful local Jamaican dialogue. How would you say, we had a wonderful time, we can't wait to come back? Yeah, did sweet, can't wait for forward. Yeah, did sweet, I can't wait for forward. That's that's very good. Yeah, did sweet, I can't wait for forward. <laughs> yeah. No, you sound. No, I said it right. You sound like a cartoon. It sounds like a New Yorker. <laughs> yeah, did sweet, I can't wait for forward. Yeah, did sweet. Yeah, did sweet, I can't wait for forward. The bump with the bump. One useful phrase Scott didn't teach Jenna. Slow down. Yeah! How could we possibly leave this island without tasting one of its most daring offerings, the Jamaican bobsled at Ocho Rio's Mystic Mountain? Will you slow down, please? Wait, was he saying slow down? Yeah, I was. It's good of you to ask now, by the way. But anyway, slow down is a fitting response, not just to the bobsled, but to life in general. The Jamaican way of life, where the rhythm of reggae and the waves will always welcome you home. I want to go back. Bliss. Yeah. Bliss. Yeah. Yeah, if we do that once a week for the next 52 weeks, I'm not sure budget-wise that should be a problem. That's not, not, not a problem. And the bobsled thing, by the way, it didn't look fast there, but, but you were driving and yeah. you had the control on the Yee! brakes. It was Lester, like this. <laughs> and apparently you weren't aware that there were actually braking No, no brakes. Can we also thank uh, Robert Ciradon and Kim Cornett, our producers there, Bill and Tunji, who did great jobs with us um, shooting. That, that's me. That's back in your shy period. Back when I was super shy, and I wore long dresses apparently because that was fancy back back then. But you know what? Even folks you, that that you're not related to, you, there is a welcome home quality there to is. Jamaica. I mean, people are warm, they're embracing, it's, and uh, their way of life is so peaceful and so still that everything is iry, everything is laid back and easy. Just smile, and it'll all just sort of fall off your shoulders. We just paved the way for another paid trip there. Just like New York City. All right. <laughs> just ahead, as America's Got Talent gets ready to crown its newest star, I go backstage to talk to some of the hottest acts and the two Howards who help make or break their dreams. It's coming up. But first, these messages.